good day everyone so today's session we would be talking about data handling now what do you mean by data data is something which we would be collecting uh, to prove something uh, to say that this uh, this is actually this so what we have something called an hypothesis and to prove that that hypothesis is true we would be collecting some sort of data some sort of information so the learning objectives for this chapters are first what is data why do we actually require data how to choose data and after choosing the data how to examine that data is actually fulfilling the hypothesis or not after actually choosing the data the second thing is to organize that data you already have collected a data now you have to organize that data so that it makes some sense to you so the second one is collection and organization of data examples of how to organize it in a, a some sort of tally bars and a table the next is once you have organized that data you need to interpret that data so for that we have something called pictographs how to draw the pictographs and how do we uh, why do we need these pictographs and how to interpret from this pictographs and construct some conclusion based on it and the final one is making bar graphs for given data uh, that is also one kind of interpretation so the topics for this chapter are first is the introduction then the second one is how to record the data how to collect that data the third one is organizing the data once you have a data you need to organize it so that you can come to some so you can uh, get the conclusion faster from it to represent it in a pictograph and how to interpret a pict pictograph how to draw a pictograph the next one is the bar graph how to interpret a bar graph and drawing in a bar graph and finally it is a summary of the chapter so if you want me to summarize what exactly we are trying to do in this chapter in this chapter we are trying to access data we have a data we are trying to first analyze we have first trying to collect the data then we are trying to organize that data then we are trying to analyze or interpret that data so that it comes to us some meaningful information so this was all about what we are going to do in the next consecutive sessions of data handling thank you